without a doubt, these aircraft are symbols of our freedom, and without them, we wouldn't have our freedom today. To know that 70 years ago, there were men fighting and dying in these airplanes, and now we're flying them around to show them off without combat, without being shot at, um, it gives you goosebumps. For all of us at the Collings Foundation, you really get a sense of why it's important to keep these airplanes out there and flying so that the public has a chance to, uh, to number one, understand and to learn and to appreciate the history and the value that the men and women that flew these things and the sacrifices they made. There was more action on the tail because the German fighter pilots would hang on the tail turrets to make their move. On the way to the target, we got hit by fighters. I was in the tail turret, and the tail turret got hit, and there was a shattered uh, the safety glass in the front. Planes coming in, it seems like at that time they they always hung on a tail because if you get the tail gunner out, they can get the rest of the airplane. And I, I hit that airplane and it blew apart. Fatality rate amongst the Army Air Corps was the highest of any of the branches, higher than the Marine Corps in the Pacific landing on Iwo Jima and Okinawa. These were tremendous sacrifices that we have to remember. Out of the 25 airplanes, we lost 13 on them right over the target. And I was one of them that came back. This is the last flying B 24 Liberator. It was the most produced American airplane ever. They built 18,000 of them. This is it. For quite a long time, the Collins Foundation is doing all of our annual maintenance here at American Aero Services. They maintain the B-17, B-24, P-51. They're fantastic. They're our support structure and they're our lifeblood. Without American Aero, we'd be dead in the water. It'll be a sad day when these things are parked and they're regulated to sitting in a, in a museum somewhere at the corner of an airport and nobody will be able to come out and hear and smell and see and touch history. And it's, it's, a, it's literally a flying museum and it would, it's, it's a national treasure. We have to keep it going. And one of the greatest things that we get a kick out of is when we do have the World War uh, veterans that are on the airplanes that come out and fly with us and you can see the look on their face and they're, they, they just hold demeanor changes. I've flown with them, I've had them sit in the right seat with me and, and they just, uh, they, they'll tear up. And it's just a great honor to be able to sit next to these, these heroes. It's critical that these aircraft remain relevant to our history. World War II was the most important event of the last thousand years, but with the regrettable passing of our veterans, a lot of that history will be lost. So now more than ever, it's important to share these aircraft with the public to tell the story of the sacrifices made during World War II.